What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. So guys, my micro brand watch reviews are kind of hit or miss and it's pretty funny. You know, some people are very excited to see something they may have otherwise not have heard of. You know, micro brands are often kind of obscured, especially in comparison to these bigger watch manufacturers. And then another group of people accuse me of being a shill simply because I'm doing my job and reviewing watches. I'm not upset about this. Oh well, whatever I do, I'm not gonna win. But uh, if there's one thing I hear in my comment section regularly every time I review a micro brand watch, it's uh, you want to see something different, right? Show me something different, time teller. I'm sick of seeing the same things, you know. A lot of micro brands are doing kind of similar things out there, so uh, what if I could find something a bit different for you? All right, well, I found it. It's 12.45 p.m. Let's get down to business. <laughs> The Badger Islander Automatic. Now the case width of this Badger Islander Automatic without the crown is 38 millimeters. Uh, that's about 11 millimeters thick and the lug to lug is 48 millimeters. Now the case is 316L stainless steel. That's pretty standard when it comes to, you know, stainless watches. And it's powered by a Salida SW201 movement. Now you'll notice it's got a beautiful sunburst guilloche dial. The crystal is sapphire and it's got super luminova BGW9 loom and hands. And uh, the straps they say are Italian suede and leather straps. Uh, okay, so very nice. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna take off my Sortina DS2 Chrono Olympic and I'll put on one of these badgers. Uh, let's go ahead and do kind of the teal dial. Is it teal or is it? It's some kind of maybe aqua green. It, it looks nice, let's put it on. All right, so why do I say that this Badger Islander is so much different than other micro brand watches out there? Well, right off the bat, you'll notice it's not round, right? And it's not rectangular. It's more of a tonneau shaped case. And I really appreciate that. They're really trying something different. So probably after the interesting case design, you'll notice that beautiful guilloche sunburst dial. It really plays with the light very, very nicely. And uh, yeah, it just makes the watch pop. Now, according to Badger's website, there's gonna be four dial variants. There's gonna be a blue one. There's gonna be a black one. There's going to be this white one and this kind of greenish one. Uh, my favorite from the looks of them was the blue dial variant, but I didn't get one sent to me. So between these two, the green and the white, I kind of like the green. Now when you take a look at the dial, you'll notice the second hand is sweeping very, very smoothly across it, and that's thanks to the Salida SW201 automatic movement. That's right, it's got a display case back. This is powered by a Salida. You're getting hacking, you're getting hand wind, and you're getting a 28,800 BPH movement. Now there are a few things that I really, really like about this Badger Islander, so let's talk about kind of the pros list, and then we'll talk about the cons. <laughs> People love when I talk about the cons. <laughs> I had too much co I had too much coffee. All right, the first thing on the pros list of this Badger Islander automatic is that uh, it's got a beautiful dial, right? And there's not too much branding on it. I appreciate that. I don't like when micro brands or really any brand, uh, puts a whole bunch of gobbledygook on the dial. Just leave it, just let me let me enjoy the dial. The next thing I really appreciate about this micro brand watch is that it has a six o'clock date. Okay, if you're gonna put a date on your watch, please put it at the three o'clock or the six o'clock, not at the four o'clock. A lot of micro brands do four o'clock dates and it's, it, and it's just, it's disgusting. Okay, it's disgusting. The next thing I like is that they used a sapphire crystal. Okay, no skimping out here. Uh, it's got a sapphire, it's gonna be quite resilient. I like that. And the last thing I really like about this Badger Islander is that it's powered by one of my favorite movements, right? The Salida SW201. You really can't go wrong. Same movement as my Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot. I really like that. Now your favorite part, it's time for me to absolutely trash this watch. I'm just kidding, but we are gonna go over some of the cons. All right, the first thing on the cons list is that with a lug to lug of 48 millimeters, it's gonna wear quite large for people smaller than myself. Now, I'm a bigger dude, I have just over seven and a half inch wrists 
And this thing wears quite nicely on my wrists, but again, it's almost coming close to the edges of my wrist. So if you're smaller than me, I'll see if you have a smaller than a seven inch wrist, this thing is gonna look very, very big on you. The next thing that kind of bothers me about the Badger Islander is that uh, although it has a really cool case shape, right? I really like that they're going for the tonneau case uh, and it has some really functional crown guards, right? That, that makes for a very good everyday watch. You're not gonna bump the crown and break the crown stem inside the movement. That's awesome. Uh, for a watch, watch named the Islander, it only has a 50 meter water resistance rating and no threaded crown. Okay, that might be kind of a stupid complaint, but I don't know, when I think of, of Islander, I think of an island, right? I think of a shoreline surrounded by water. So, I don't know, if you're gonna name it the Islander, I'd, I'd like it to maybe be an interesting take on a dive watch. That might just be me. So yeah, I would have liked to see a 100 meter water resistance rating at least with a threaded crown. The next thing that bothers me about the Badger Islander is that, uh, yeah, although it's got a very, very beautiful dial, um, the indexes aren't really applied or maybe they are applied, but they're very, very small. So um, I would have liked some bolder indexes, some that really give it more of a dynamic look, some something that really pops off of that guilloche dial. I would have really appreciated that um, because of how slim and how thin they are and how close they are to the surface of that dial kind of looks cheap. That, that bothers me. And the final thing that bothers me about the Badger Islander Automatic is uh, you'll notice there's not a whole lot of branding, okay? I really do appreciate that. But why did they choose right below the date window at the six o'clock to say Swiss Movement? Okay, I get it. It's not a Swiss made watch. I get that you're using a Swiss Salida movement, but you don't need to do that cheesy marketing. It's, it's, it's unnecessary and it takes away from the watch in my opinion. I get it, everyone wants to have Swiss on the dial. You don't need to do this, Badger. It's a cool watch, you don't need to do that. So there you have it, my pros and cons list. Now you might argue that those are kind of silly complaints, but uh, wouldn't be one of my reviews without telling you the whole story. So uh, again, I just, I wanna tell you what I think about these watches, so the bad has to come with the good. So guys, I'm gonna leave a link to Badger's website in the description below. If you wanna learn more, you can click that link and uh, check them out. I don't think that they're available yet. At the time you see this video, I still don't think they're available, but I was able to get a couple prototypes in the office, so I figured, yeah, let's go ahead and share them with you early. And uh, yeah, again, click the link to Badger's website, and if you wanna learn more about them, check them out. And as always, guys, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about these watches? Would you wear them? Would you never wear them? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Leave it all in the comment section below. I wanna hear from you. All right, well, there you have it. If you enjoyed this episode, and you learned something, and you had some fun, click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and click that bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the time teller okay if YouTube does its job that bell icon will notify you when I upload and I upload all the time Monday Wednesday Friday with the live stream Q&A every single Saturday rain or shine that's four pieces of awesome hard-hitting content every week we are working non-stop for you people so please join in on the fun hit that bell icon and you will not miss out and if you're looking to pick up some modern watches maybe some watch straps some toolkits some watch winders everything I use you can shop at my Amazon store link in the description below when you shop there you help me out a bunch and if you really want to go above and beyond and you want some vintage luxury watches serviced with one year warranty go to www.thetimetellershop.com every watch on that site is hand-picked and inspected by me T3 it is T3 certified and is also serviced by my team of expert watchmakers and it comes with a one-year warranty everything on that site. So check it out, www.thetimetellershop.com. We're adding things weekly there and they keep getting scooped up very, very quickly. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting everything we do here. You rock. So like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch collectors, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Real quick, if you enjoyed this episode, then do not worry, the fun doesn't need to stop here. Check out these recommended episodes that are gonna be popping up on the screen anytime now. Also, take a moment, check out my brand new channel, the Time Away channel. It's where I talk about everything outside of the watch world, some of my other collections, some of my other hobbies. And if you're not interested in any of that, don't worry, just stay right here and I will see you right here. Because I, I never leave.
I am trapped inside of this camera. Awesome. That was all in all pretty smooth.